Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 11 of Project Zomboy The Tales of Buffy, which originally streamed live on Twitch. I woke up at exactly 10.30, it was probably rigged. Or I had the experience to know how long Buffy needs to sleep. I'm going to leave one of these coffees in my glove box. Um, because if you're tired and having to fight, what's even faster than trying to consume um, piles of vitamins is you can just eat dry coffee. And it's it sounds gross, but it's, it's pretty effective. It'll wake you up. I mean, you will not be happy about doing it. You'll be quite thirsty, but... It's a good jolt to the system. Oh man, I have so much stuff here, I can't even carry it all. Crippled by success. So, a uh, question for you all. Um, should I head to the factory today? If not, I'll open up some additional options for you to vote on. So now that I have had my book... Uh, there's a few other things that I could do. I could, um, I could try to get some of the uh, generators that I know about that I haven't brought back to my base. So that 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 could be something that I could do that would be productive as well. Or I could scavenge more of the town at, because as there is power. Oh God, my oven. Oh, we're, we're good. It's it's still good. It's still good. Um, as there's still power, there's still uh, things that I could, you know, scavenge for food. So there's, there's some choices to be made. Or I could just go to the factory. Now, going to the factory now or going later doesn't make much of a difference. It's the other things that um, are more time sensitive. Alright. Super hearty stew coming up. Alex Speed, thanks for the sub. A fan of the stew, are you? Man, I have so much stuff in this house. It'd be a real shame if it burned down. <laughs> Ominous. <laughs> Knowing me, I'll just like forget the uh, forget the the stove and all my work up in flames. It's actually never happened to... Di well, no, that's not true. I have burned my house down once. And I was definitely upset by it. Because I was in Rosewood and I was in the fire station. I, I managed to burn the fire station to the ground. <laughs> it was pretty funny. You know, the building that's supposed to put out the fires. Yep. That got caught good. I actually bet that old fire stations probably set on fire often. So they're, they tend to be some of the older buildings in, in big cities. And I can't imagine that they're, like, kept up that good. Because bureaucracy is not efficient. Alright, you guys do want me to head to the factory, it looks like. So... Head to the base factory. Good luck to me. Yeah, I also set the mall on fire and, and broke my everything doing that. Um, but I survived it. I didn't die. Felt a little dumb. What doesn't kill you, makes you learn not to ever do it twice. One of the worst fires in New York City history started at a fire station? As I said, not surprising. <laughs> not surprising at all. I'm sure that sucks, but... They are buildings that are not well maintained. 
because they're such they're so specialized that you can't it's you can't really turn an old fire station in a city into anything but a, a new fire station, right? And there there is often not taxpayer dollars to renovate and upgrade and renew fire stations, which means I can totally see fire stations just becoming neglected until they burn, until old wires just spark a fire. Okay, I'm bringing some chips with me for the road. It could be a Ghostbusters headquarters. <laughs> I guess it could. Oh, hi. Can I help you? You know, before I leave, there's some things I should probably do first. I probably should get a backup weapon. Because this crowbar is eh, about three fifths. Oh my lord, where are my weapons? Where'd that metal pipe go? I think I put it in the bathroom. Alright, so this is a full HP metal pipe. It's not a long blunt like the cro uh, crowbar that I'm using. It's a short blunt, but it'll do in a pinch. Uh, yeah, I probably should not off-road with this thing. Let me just use the roads. It's too bad I can't read and drive. Knowing how good I am at driving, it wouldn't really negatively affect my, uh, my skill. As you could very well see. Uh, this is, yeah, okay, this is not the turn. One more down. Does he have a bulletproof vest on? I think he does, but I already have one spare. Alright, looking at the map, I drive on this road until it comes to a T much further down the road. Another thing I could do on my way home is to pick up the generator from the farm that I left. Oh, wow. This road used to be clear. What is on his back? Can you guys tell? I can't tell what that is. It didn't look like a sledgehammer, though. Or a katana. No, no, besides the double bag, he had, um... He had some sort of weapon on his back. It had a tan handle. But I wasn't sure what it was. It didn't look very big, though. Because if it was a sledgehammer, I would have tried to figure out how to take it off of him. Because it is technically possible to find sledgehammers on zombies. Same with katanas. Just very unlikely. Well, we're at the factory. Uh, I need to find somewhat of a vacant corner to start. Because I don't want to hop out of the car and immediately have like 30 zombies swarming me. That's not a good place to start. Let me do a quick drive through actually try to size up the challenge and to show you what it is that you're asking me to do. So, so far I've killed 378 zombies and I think I could safely assume there's about 378 zombies here. No, don't hit the doors. I want the doors intact. Maybe even more than 300. Is Yoda feeling better today? He is. Thanks for asking. This looks, uh, sketchy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what does he have, a nightstick? Yep. 
But this was the challenge, right? You guys said, settle the factory, so I shall. All right, this looks like somewhat of an emptier corner that I can start in. Ooh, a bread knife. Dead. We got good music. Okay. <laughs> Those deer buck noises are so creepy. I know they're not actually coming from an animal, but I keep thinking, because like all the zombies now make like guttural different noises and the like. A part of me thinks that like the developers just have a cruel sense of humor and are like, let me introduce to you a new tank zombie or something, you know. I wouldn't put it past them. Uh, so one of the advantages of um, of clearing out the factory and living in the factory is, is it, it's literally across the street from uh, the gas station, right? So a source of gasoline is, you know, going to be uh, great. Can you make a killdozer? Not yet, but they're planning on adding that. That is one of the, it's not going to be in the next patch, probably not even the patch after, but it is, they, unless they change their plan, they've blogged about armored vehicles in the past. Um, that you'll be able to armor up your cars and, um, you know, have a killdozer of sorts. So there's some concept art on the PZ official forms in their blog on that. Okay, there was a bulletproof vest on there. I already have one, but having a few spare is kind of nice in case they ever get ruined. Because a bulletproof vest is like a it prevents you from being scratched to your torso once. And then after the one time, likely it has been ruined in such a way that you cannot reliably use it again. Because you can't repair them. And this one's in 100% condition. That's awesome. I'm going to put the uh, nightstick on my hip instead of the wrench, as that is a better weapon than the wrench. Nightsticks, uh, they don't have extraordinary damage, but they are pretty durable. And that means I can actually put the hand axe away. I don't really need the hand axe anymore. I'd rather switch from blunt to blunt rather than changing weapon types. So what's this annotated map? March Ridge? Oh, okay, I don't care. I wish it would told, tell you the base type of the annotated map. Like if it was annotated Riverside or annotated Muldra. It'd also be cool if the map was like, there is a sledgehammer here. Don't use guns, stuff... Uh, Stuff you can use as weapons here, medical center, quiet. Okay. Not really an abundance of helpful, useful information. A few down, a lot to go. Thanks for being discouraging. I mean, it is building up uh, weapon maintenance and long blunt skill, so there's that. Oh, they, wow, they saw me early. Uh-oh. The second group? Oh, no, 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 no. A few at a time. Not 30. What? 
four crowbar hits didn't take you down. There we go. Oh, he has a hunting knife in his gun. That might not be terrible, because I can use hunting knives to, uh... Yeah, let's put that on the belt. I could use hunting knives to, um, fashion, uh, spears and the like. Or, because I'm Buffy, stakes. Unfortunately, stakes are not particularly good weapons. So. Otherwise, I would have a stake and spear attempt, but I'm also not that good of a player that I can guarantee I'd stay alive using only stakes and spears. Even if it is the Buffy way. No, uh, Buffy used bladed weapons and the like. She didn't use just stakes and spears. She had quite the arsenal. How's my shoes? Perfect. Spears are just really long stakes. Yep. And javelins are just flingy spears. Or flingy long stakes. Stilts are just walking stakes. <laughs> Giles trained her in everything, including rocket launcher. That's true. That is true. She was, um, she was definitely a weapons expert. What's the jewelry used for? Um, it has the same use in this game as it does in real life. Ooh, light. Oh, interesting. My light footed and my sneaking leveled up at the same time. It should have gave me the, uh, the double level up noises. I pyrite. Thank you for the follow. So we're coming to the end of today. We have not too much daylight left. Although I get a I did have a late start cuz I slept in till 10:30. Took a while to drive out here. So I've still a little bit more fight in me. These buck noises are so disturbing. Oh, give puppies a treat. Yoda. You can tell when they spot you. Because if you mouse over your sneaking XP, you'll stop building sneaking XP. Actually, I'm still building sneaking XP because I'm sneaking f away from the rest of the group. But obviously I'm spotted. So I guess that's not sure. That's not a surefire way of doing it. Like I was going to tell you it is. If the whole crowd, if the whole group had seen me, obviously I would stop building sneak XP. Because you don't build sneak XP when everyone can see you. Not like I have a special cardboard box I can hide in. Or the, uh... hooking my enemies up to uh, parachutes and having them airlifted. Wow, there are so many death clusters in this factory. <laughs> Each group is like uh, another 20 or so. Cat Lady. Quadruple zeros. Thanks for the follow. I'm in a bit of a... A dog man myself. But I know plenty of good cat ladies. One of my best friends is a cat lady. Alright, they all see me now. Uh, bid blockers. Jewelry used to separate fools from the cash. Uh, what? 
What do you have, ADHD zombies? Come on. You were all walking towards me and then you, what, forgot? I'm exerted. Hey, boots! There we go. Something good on the old feet. Much, much, much better than my shoes. Uh, so if you saw the exerted, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit on the ground uh, for a minute, catch my breath. Oh, I'm also getting tired, so it might be time to call it. Yeah, I'm going to say it's time to call it. I'm getting exerted and tired, and it's getting late in the day. Let's get out of here. Uh, question for you all. What should I do tomorrow? Scavenge it down. Uh, clearing more of the factory. Uh, clearing the gas station next to the factory. Um, skill grinding. Or viewer submitted ideas. You vote. Hey, JD. How have you been liking? You've been logging time in uh, Surviving the Aftermath, right? Sadly, that game did not win today, but. Um, as I promised, when I hit 15k followers, I was going to have a, a extra stream. So I think what I'm going to do is have a, a little tiebreaker between Surviving the Aftermath and Raft to see what the extra stream will be. And a third choice, too. I'm going to sneak a third choice in there as well. Oh, yeah. Generator collection would be a good one. Um... What I could actually do on the way home, because it's not quite dark yet, is to drive by the farm just to size it up. If the farm is, um, overrun, I won't get out to collect the generator. Was it in this building? I actually don't remember where it was. I said I did, but... I don't. Uh, the farm... Crack in there. The farm, uh, the farm actually looks a little overrun to me. It's not so bad, but... Uh, can I drive out of here? I gotta consult the map for a second. I think there's fences that surround this whole thing. No? There's not. Okay. The shed next to the house? Alright, let me head over there. Thank you, Mauro, for remembering. So, let's see here. Did my revving... Alright, I'm gonna take my chances. Did these guys... Yeah, they saw me. Let's take the vitamins out of the, uh, duffel. So you think it's in this shed? Yep. You would be correct. Where'd those zombies go? Oh, good, they're sitting at my car. I like how I can hold a generator while using both my hands to take vitamins. But I can't wield a weapon. So thank you, game, for making lots of sense.
All right, forget your panic. You're not panicked. I'm only a little drowsy, so this should be okay. But you can you can definitely tell the uh, what normally is a four swing and kill. That that zombie that went down was like a six swing or seven swing and kill. You become uh, very ineffective with your weapons when you are tired. Um, all right, this bad boy is going to go in the passenger seat because the trunk is literally not big enough for it. You can remember this, but not the important stuff for work. You and me both. Well, I didn't even remember this, but... All right, and according to the map, you know what, I, I think it's probably easier for me to double back and take the road I drove in on rather than to, like, bushwhack with a Corvette. It's not exactly a bushwhacking car. Yo, Z, get out the road. Isn't this your stuff for work? <laughs> yep. This is my work. And I can't remember. I remember most things. Give me a little credit. Just where I put a generator three weeks ago, or two and a half weeks ago, or whatever it was. I knew there was one at the farm, but I didn't know exactly where. And then there's, I think, one in my neighborhood, too. In a garage or something. I could revisit the footage or whatever, if I needed to. I'm not going to stop for Duffel Guy. I'm way too tired. I'm only drowsy because I sucked down a whole lot of vitamins, but my drowsiness level is only going to increase with every swing and every kill, every stomp. Got to weigh that risk versus reward, right? Oh, come on now. The first time was my fault. The second time, that was bogus. I wonder when I'm going to lose power. I mean, I'm ready for it now. I'd rather have multiple generators because it helps to have a generator where you generate power. Thunk! Obviously, I'm not going to turn that on in the house because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to asphyxiate and die, but... Uh... Oh, that was a successful run. Right, I'm going to put a timer on the what to do tomorrow now, so you only have two and a half minutes left to vote up there. And uh, you can decide on how I spend tomorrow. Fighting a good fight or something else. You know, I've been transferring, but I didn't look at to what I transferred. I don't think I had any um, perishables, but I probably should have checked. Oh, yep, cockroach. That didn't belong in there. Nothing else was perishable. Didn't I have ice cream on me? I don't remember. Turn on the radio? Uh, it's late. It's too late. I'll, I'll catch it next top of the hour. All right, 
right, I'm going to put the metal pipe away because it doesn't fit my belt. What is so heavy in my inventory? I don't know. I'm really weighed down, but I'm not sure why. I have uh, frozen ice cream in the passenger seat. That's what it was, yeah. Let me go back out there. Well, the passenger seat was only, um, was the generator. I think it was the trunk. No, it wasn't the trunk. I guess I brought it in or ate it or something. I don't know. One thing, uh, one thing of spoiled ice cream ain't gonna ruin my day. Okay, so you guys, what did you vote on? Clearing more of the factory. And skill grinding is nearly tied, so let's have a bit of a tiebreaker. Tiebreaker time. What are we cooking today? Onion, three potatoes, and a carrot. If it, uh, if it ties again, I've got a coin to flip. So I'll flip a coin and have the coin decide. Shadow, thanks for the follow. Shadows of Columbia, or De Columbia. So clear skies. I know there, there's a, um, there's a storm on the horizon. Yeah, three days. All personnel, something has been issued. I wish it was a little bit less um, hard to interpret. I feel like the warnings are always very coded. And I never, I, I don't have them all memorized, so they're confusing to me. Of all of the beginner's books that I have, yeah, I would say ele Electrical is probably the one I want to read first. Getting that skill grind up so that I can hotwire cars is important, but very boring. And the tiebreaker says... More ties. Alright, so let's see. I have this... Um, Akintosh and all the Nine Divines coin from Oblivion. And heads will be head to the factory and tails will be skill grind. Grinding our tails off. Tails. Kind of wish it was heads. Kind of want to go back to the factory to kill some things, but uh, the coin has chosen. Praise be the coin and all of its decision making. <laughs> So for skill grinds, it, the most important would be carpentry, and the best way to do that is to go house to house and break down furniture. So skill grind 
carpentry. What I want to do... Let me let me double check the, the, the map here. So, the factory has staircases up to the second floor. Um, so, I don't need to build my own staircases. I need to find a sledgehammer. So, that means that all I really care about is carpentry four. As soon as it carpentry four, I'm allowed to have... Um, well, then that's not entirely true. Because if I want running water in my factory base, I'm going to want to put the rain barrels above the second floor, because I'm obviously not going to live on the first floor. That's suicide. Uh, so if I am... Yeah, I still need stairs. I still need stairs to get the roof to the roof of the factory, I think. Um, that and, and that would be skill grind to six. And then if I'm grinding to six, I might as well grind up to seven for the better rain barrels. But that isn't a must. It's just a nice to have. So I'm going to go around the neighborhood and break furniture down for a little bit of a uh, little bit of XP. My weight's been holding at about 79, so I haven't been plummeting or anything like that, which is good. And now I'm full to bursting, so I'm treating myself well. Now the question is, why am I so heavy? Uh, I probably don't need to everyday carry a wrench. As I'm not going to be repairing a vehicle. I'm not even going to be using my vehicle. Uh, the axe is good. I'm going to keep the axe and the saw. For everyday carry. The nightstick's relatively heavy. As is the hammer, but obviously I can't do without a hammer. Hey! Apolius, thank you for the resub. <laughs> Welcome, buddy. You don't catch live streams all that often. It's rare to see you here. All right, well, let's go out. Actually, you know what? We can start in our own base. I don't need these couches. Let's rip them up. Why keep the pens on me? Uh, so that I can mark down the map in multiple colors. If, if and when I head into town, uh, I can make notes in multiple colors. Plus, they don't weigh anything. I mean, they weigh 0.1. So, it's not like it's devastatingly heavy or anything like that. Um, yeah, I definitely find it nice to, to have multiple colors and the like. I don't have an eraser, though. I haven't... I've probably seen one in just... Didn't think to pick it up, but an eraser would be nice, too. So, the pen and the pencil are kind of redundant, but the blood, red and blue pens obviously do different colors. Um, well, let's see. Carpentry, I'm at 485. We'll see how this goes up. Soddle, thanks for the follow. I'll put Yoda on for a bit. So unfortunately, this neck of the, the map is off the map. I, I know I've mentioned this, but the I would live here. Uh, it's, it's past this cluster of houses. So I can't really mark down these houses. Um, one thing I might want to try to do is, for the twin bed here, I, I should try to uninstall it. Because if I can uninstall it in both pieces, that'd be a good bed to carry over to the factory once I move into the factory. Because if I break down all the beds here, I just might not have a surface that I can sleep on when I get to the factory, which would be bad. Oh, you know where I should head? I should head to the church. The church has all the pews, and pews are pretty good to break down. So after I finish this house, I'll head to the church. Come on. 
Chance to break 52.5. Fingers crossed. Well, I don't need to check if that worked. <laughs> Am I still going to stream during the holiday week? Uh, what holiday week? If you don't mind me asking. Do you mean uh, Christmas? Anton, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I will still be streaming during Christmas. What day does Christmas Day land on, anyway? Uh, Saturday? Well, I don't normally stream Saturdays, so that's kind of moot. And I don't normally stream Fridays, so Christmas Eve is kind of moot, too. I might stream anyway. On Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, I'm not sure which. Um, I'll make the decision when I get there. I don't usually plan that far ahead. As embarrassing as that might be. And New Year's is Saturday, too? Well, it sounds like a good year to party. <laughs> if you ask me. Alright, you might not have seen it, but there was a zombie up here where my mouse cursor is. Ugh. Up that way. So I said 485 is what we started at. I'm now at 518. Oh, there's a few zombies. Oh, like a little Canadian tuxedo crew. You know, I never made it into that door, but I still don't have a uh, propane torch or a welder's mask. Oh, and the cemetery has some walking dead in it, too. Um, the cemetery might have zombies too close to the church for me to break things down in the church safely. Oh, yeah, and then there's uh, these hangarounds right outside. Hey, fools, get up. You got some dying to do. How oblivious are you? That's some messed up zombies. I've I've never seen a zombie that completely oblivious to its impending its own impending doom. It just like didn't get up. It's very strange. Oh, you can disassemble the gravestones? That's dark. I mean, I know I'm killing all the ex occupants or the future occupants. But still, the facing graves seems a little evil. What skill does that grind? Uh, what is my carpentry at? 518.25? Mm, it's not a, um... It's not a carpentry skill. I mean, uh, duh, I guess. Seems evil, does it anyway? Just because it's evil doesn't mean it's wrong. Oh, these are pretty crummy pews. These are just benches. So this is not going to level me up all that significantly. Oh! Okay, definitely clear out the neighborhood first. Oh, crap! I got lacerated. I was trying to push, and I just couldn't hit the, uh, the hitbox. Jolly Green Giant, you have inflicted the first injury. Let's hope I don't get infected. Uh, so, in terms of my clothing, yeah, my left forearm, it went through all layers of clothing. Damn, I had a 73% chance to uh, protect against scratch. And it went through all layers of clothing and uh, wrecked my arm. That dude did not mess around.
Uh, so what I should do is, um, I'll do one pew just so that I can say I did. But I'm gonna get home and, um, and, uh, so I was at 518. Okay, that wasn't that great, uh, carpentry-wise. Are infections set to insta-kill? No, no. Zombie infections will always kill you no matter what, but, um, regular infections are very survivable. So I'm just, uh, I'm just headed home to use alcohol and alcohol swabs and to clean it up so that if there's a regular infection, I can survive. If it's a zombie infection, there's nothing I can do. And that would be, uh, legendarily bad luck because it, it pierced all layers of clothing with a high percent armor. And, uh, and normally you don't see that much damage. So, disinfectant alone, I'm not going to worry about. I need um, swabs or swipes or whatever. Let's see. I don't know where my medical supplies is. One of the disadvantages of not organizing, I suppose. Another thing that you could do is to stay well-fed. Uh, because being well-fed, you heal a little bit faster. Oh, here we go. Alcohol wipes. So, I'll eat half of my stew just for that uh, well-fed recovery helping. Um, okay, here's more alcohol wipes. Are bites game over? Yes. If you're bit, you're dead. 100%. There is no recovery from a bite. Um, if it's a scratch or a laceration, it's a chance that you're infected, but not a guarantee. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the patches on my, sh um, on my clothing. Because I have this hole through all of the left arms of all of the clothing. Yeah, I should probably wash first. Clean, uh, wash myself. Let me, you know what I'll do? I will take off the clothing that got destroyed because I'm going to change, obviously. So let's unequip the clothing. Um, unequip the hoodie. Unequip the leather jacket. Unequip the long sleeve shirt. You can see how many layers it went through. It's it's honestly uh, fairly impressive how many layers it uh, it managed to, to to pen. Thank you for tuning in to the Tales of Buffy Project Zomboid, which will really stream live on Twitch December seventh. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. This series is a result of a poll, so I don't know when the next time I'll stream it, but if you want to be informed on when there's polls for more Project Zomboid, Discord is the place for your announcements. So Radamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord so that you can take part in the polls. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you for supporting the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, Zombie Slayers.